Hello everyone, Chris here and welcome back to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic, episode number 13 here in the Republic of Fjordland. And you join me looking over our roundabout, our finally completed roundabout. Um, I'll be completely honest with you, I've already recorded an episode tonight and I did a load of stuff on it. And it was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. There was a lot of confusion, a lot of problems, a lot of issues um, that I was going to put to you in the comments. And then I listened back to it. And I don't know if I've knocked my microphone wire or whatever, but a whole hour, whole hour's worth of recording. Uh, there's no audio. Nothing. So... You can hear I'm slightly dejected by this factor. All I've done is I've gone back to the last possible save, um, auto save from when I started it. I, we've cut out a lot of the stuff that we did in that episode. There is a few things, however, that did happen off camera uh, that I'd like to tell you about. First and foremost, it is now October 1961. Uh, we've put in for the construction company to build ourselves a new construction office, as was the suggestion by a uh, central committee member in the comments, uh, Radomir Sita. Thank you. Um, thank you for your comments. Uh, you suggested we look to build more construction offices, and that's what we're doing. And in fact, there's been a few comments this week, um, and I really, really love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, there's a few followers of this series who just I don't know const constantly um, uh, commenting and watching and that really does mean a lot um, if you like this series let's get this bit out of the way if you're liking this series you like this video please hit like um, if you would like to see more um, please subscribe and, and genuinely if you dislike this which is fine um, hit dislike Always looking for like constructive feedback on to, in terms of what we're doing, what you what you've disliked about it. Um, I'm not I'm not too too bothered really. If you, uh, you know, I'm not going to take it too personally. I'm doing this just for just for fun, um, because I like this game and I like talking about this game. Um, and if if, if I'm being totally honest started this series just to convince my friend Tony to maybe buy this game. That's the only reason I started this. Uh, but it seems to be the most popular videos on the channel, so um, yes, rambling. If you do dislike it, let me know why, and I will happily, I don't know, address your issues. Unless, of course, you just dislike it because uh, of my voice, and I can't change that. I'm really sorry. Anyway, so we, built a, we started building a construction office, um, we completed the works here on this, what we call the Ch Chernikova Nutritional Exports, which is the food exports. Um, probably should point out that I spent ages trying to work out how to spell nutritional on there. Um, we had noticed a problem here with the warehouse in that... I'll just pause it for a second. Um, so, we were going to run out of, of crops really quickly. Which is a problem because obviously we're only in October. The crops are not going to come round for another full year. If we're running out of crops within a month, that's a problem. Um, don't know how we solve that. Really don't know how we solve that. Um, I, what I did do in the previous save that I've got rid of now. Um, we built ourselves a grain silo on the border with the train. And got the grain train to start picking it up. I don't know if that's a good idea. In all honesty, um, your suggestions are welcome in that situation. Because I don't... I genuinely don't know what to do. The The other issue is we're... we're um, a lot... A lot we, I'm sorry. I'm going over old ground because we've done this. Um, money is interesting at the moment. Um... One thing that we did do in the previous episode was we actually started building houses here. Uh, the the idea being that these workers who live in this community would be the workers for this construction office. I'm not going to do it this time. And do you know why? Because I started, I planned out a whole town and it was lovely. But 
then everyone from here went and worked on the construction thing. And winter's coming, and I want as many people as possible to work at the power plant. Let's put line spacing on. Um, I don't know what else to, to, to really tell you. Um, apart from the construction firm... Oh, come on, Chris. Click on the right bloody thing. The construction firm is still working on bits. Uh, I did cancel them in the last one and told them to focus on other things, but really... Oh, gosh, this didn't happen in the last one. A building's on fire. It's the conveyor belt. Hopefully, the fire engines are on the way. Where's Fireman Sam? Here he is, look. Come on, let's follow you. So, yeah, um... So this, I feel, I'm sorry, I feel really dejected about the fact that I recorded an entire blinking episode and it's gone. Um... But the same problems do exist, and that's fine. Um, we are, what, one year, in nearly two years into the five-year plan. Um, Jano in the comment section did mention about setting up a car factory because vehicle prices will inflate in the coming years. Definitely, definitely note that. Um, but we're not going to, we're not anywhere near that planning stage yet of vehicles we need so many other things before we can think about that um five year plan then so we're, we're when we complete this five year plan and we we're pretty much nearly there um what should be the focuses for the next from 1965 to 1970 and when we do get to 1970 um what do we what do we want to do what should we do to celebrate I know it's a way away. We're nowhere near it yet. But what do you want to do to celebrate? Oh. Oh. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, what do you want to do in 1970? We should also commemorate something for the people. To celebrate 10 years of our glorious, glorious socialist republic. Fire was extinguished. Yes, it was. Right. So, if we're looking at the thing, we have quite a lot of... 21 year olds living with their parents and as a result quite a lot of them are now escaping to find freedom and housing elsewhere if we look at this last year um this is slowly increasing the one thing that kind of is cheating but we've going back now uh compared to where we were in the save in the lost episode that i'm no longer counting and um, we lost a lot more a lot more people disappeared so we need to address that whilst we still can um and i don't really know what to do like we can build housing we can build we can fit bits of housing everywhere but like we could auto build some housing for that for all the money it costs us I know auto building is. Uh, I think this was Steve Henderson in the comments said auto building is for for city skylines and Sim City people, and it is. And we want to see the slow growth of our city. But I would say that, like, look at oh, we got forty six unemployed, forty five. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. Um, we need we like we. I don't want to put a mass construction project in now. And then lose all my workers to these key industries before winter comes. And then have ourselves a problem. I'd, I would rather have an ample supply of workers. See, it's going down. There was just a glitch in the matrix. I would rather have more people be ready for work than not. Right, so you... Let's have a look at this situation here. Because... Can all our workers... Does everyone get off the bus? Because we had that episode... We had this in the last episode where... Yeah, no, everyone does get off the bus. Fair enough. We had it where the buses um, were going back with people still on. And that's uh, not going to help. The people there will just travel on the bus forever and ever. And then get bored and go home and say they're unemployed. And that isn't good. We don't want that. It, what do we do? What do we do now? Uh, one thing that has happened... Incidentally, the highway, stage one, has completed all the way down to here. So, we're going to put the one-way systems in and make it a proper highway. Just like we always wanted. 
Um, but yeah, it's difficult at this point. The, the cons central committee, and this is the thing. I want you guys to realise the um, the comment section is the central committee of Fjordland. Um, that's canon now. That's the actual canon. You are all in the central committee. So let's guide this nation together. What's the plan? Oh, come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. What do we do? We... I don't really... I don't want to water build. But equally, I'd rather... Get things up and running quickly. Um, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. What's what's up with you? What's this question mark about? Start or end building is there. You go. You're fine. You don't even don't even know what you were worried about, do you? Stupid thing. Um. Hmm. So these are all building. What are you what are you concentrating on building? They're building Jarnograd at the moment. I kind of feel like. We should probably concentrate on building these houses. Let's do... i tell you what. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to tell it to stop auto-searching for now. We're going to... Cancel all this stuff. Not can we'll, we'll come back to it one day. We will come back to it. We'll can come back to Jarnograd. But we're going to want it... We want it to complete that house. That's the priority to begin with. Complete the house, and also complete that. Those those are the focuses. Uh, you can finish the university as well if you like. Uh, there's a lot of... Okay. Alright, you can do that as well. Here. That and that. Let's finish this. this these big buildings here. We've got a lot that we need to put. Oh, also, this was a suggestion I think from Radomir Sita. Uh, you suggested about, uh, are we playing with pollution on in this game? And we are. We very much are playing with pollution on the, in this in this game. Um, as such, the concern is that these people will be inhaling the fumes of industry. And we need to see what damage that is. Now, interestingly, their, their life expectancy is slowly going down. 82.5, I think, at the start of the last... Well, the lost episode. It was at 84. Um, need to keep an eye on that. So we're going to, at some point, build this um, lovely uh, pollution monitoring centre. How is the money situation looking at the moment? We're, we're making money again. I don't... We were losing money in the last game. So, flipping don't know. I'm worried. I am worried. I am worried about the grain situation, but... Like, what if we don't make it through the winter? What if this doesn't last us? Because if I go over to the grain train, we don't have much here. There really isn't much at this farm. Incidentally, winter is not here. And um, all the crops have been collected. So, if you remember in the last episode, we suggested about putting in some more fields. Um, I'm, flipping, I'm just going to go for it. We'll make them medium ones so they don't take too too long to, to grow, I guess, is what I want to say. Can I put them, like, one there? We'll just have these ready, and then they'll be ready for the next year, won't they? Um, so it's October now. Snow's coming November. Another three fields, should we try? Should we try another three? Let's put them there like this. And then everything will be great and everything will be groovy. I don't know. This is probably a bad idea, but whatever. More fields, more fields, more farms, more of everything. It'll be it'll be grand. It will be grand. Uh, the construction firm are on their way to do some building. Where will they go first? No one knows. The thing is, if they focus on it, they shouldn't. It shouldn't take them too long. Um, can I get? Because you're working on roads now, and you've only got one road to do, and it's this. No. Oh, you've got loads of roads. 
You're taking your time, aren't you? You silly thing. Why are you taking so long? To do a road. Missing asphalt. Why? There's loads of you. Oh, here it is. Here it is, look. Here it is, dropping off the asphalt. So it shouldn't take them too long. We could potentially draft these, the, the, the highway agency. We could draft them in just to carry resources. Um, but this is the point. I'm wanting to build more housing so that then more... I don't know. We can we can move people and to be fair we built this house to move people from this house but I don't know even know if that's realistic right now. We just need housing. We just need places for our kids to live. And I think the priority is to get these buildings down here done. Can I fit another house down here? Just I think anywhere we can fit housing right now is a good thing. Let's see, can I fit like a small one? Maybe if I get a bit. Maybe even a large one. Yeah, let's just do it. Uh, not auto build though. We will build you Across the road there. And for the sake of how quick it will be. We can always do these paths up in a minute. We're going to build a dirt path. Connecting it. And I would like. The Fjordland construction firm. To come and build you. Can you bit the right so. You can collect everything, but can you can you do everything? What happens if we put both on? I don't know. Let's just not bother. Let's <laughs> let's just not bother. We we built a highway industry for a reason. We could probably build some more roads though. That wouldn't hurt anyone. How are we doing over here on the coal front? Looking great. Everything's looking... Uh, do you know what? Actually, I was worrying, but everything's looking... Okay, the worries... The worries of the Central Committee, which is you guys, remember, in canon, is... How do we solve this housing crisis? Quickly. Quickly as well. Quickly, without taking away workers from key industries. And without auto building. I mean, this is happening. This is this is this is building. We're getting somewhere. We don't want to do too much building and then lose people down here at the mines and the well, mainly the power station and the and the heating place. My worry is when, when winter comes, if we don't have anyone working in these places, then the heating goes down and everybody dies. And I don't want that. There's too many of these people. I right, look at them all. They all look like men. Where is my gender diversity? Please. I know that there is literally gender diversity in here. Like, uh, is there? I mean, there's so many. Yeah, look at that. There's load, plenty of women who work here. Oh, I love this. I love that you can see, like, the breakdown of individual citizens. Where they live, who their children are, how long they work, where they work, their current demands, what's unre. Look at this person. Oh, you're not meeting my prayer demands. Well, we're never going to meet that demand, are we? Never. Oh, we got a new type of train. Fires were extinguished. So yes, I think this episode is going to be a bit shorter than the others. Mainly because I've already played this game a lot tonight. And I'm really tired and it's gone midnight now while I'm recording. And I'm really sad about that lost episode. But it gives us a chance to cheat, cheat the... the Fates, river, <laughs> go back in time and uh, not build a big town here that causes a massive shortage of workers in the power industry. 
But yeah, how do we solve it? Central Committee. I'm, I'm begging, begging to know. Tell you what we could do. We could, uh, what we need to talk about is um, fuel. Fuel is something we need to build. We've we've spoken about how fuel. Um, if we can if we can eradicate the need to import fuel, uh, that's going to be a big burden off our treasury. Um, but where are the workers going to come from from down here? Now originally, Janograd was going to feed the workers down here as well. How? Um, I was thinking we build a tram network because I like trams, but they they run on electricity, and I do not understand where you put in like the the, the power connectors for the electric thing. I built one in my other save, but I kind of treated them like um like the diesel stations for the uh, diesel railway. And just plunked electric things along the way. How many do you need? Do you need just the one? Do you need them at both ends? How does it work? Can someone explain it to me, please, in the comments? And if we do build a little tramway down here... Yeah, no, it should just be fine. Um, Here, as well, we have iron. And I was thinking we place some mines here and processing things here. And then the train can come off pick up the processed iron go down here and because in this hill we have coal we could have processing coal here and another little town and then this little basin even though there's uranium and stuff we could start making the beginnings of a steel city i really uh, this area could be like our heart and soul of steel creation Plans for the future. Plans for the next five-year plan. Motive, some ideas there for the next five-year plan, I guess. God, I hope the audio has worked on this. I tell you, if I if I find this video... If you're hearing this, then great. It means the video has been a success. If not, then it's just me ranting to myself now. I'm going to be sad. So... So, so, so. We're, we're, we're doing some construction. We're doing more construction over here. Let's speed up the time and get some of this stuff done. Let's get housing built. Can we fit any more little houses? I just want more housing. The, the, better, the more housing we can fit. Have we got any small, tiny houses? No. Apart from you. What's in the actual residential? sure there's like yeah yeah you can build a little house but I'm not gonna a little flat a prefab flat oh you're tiny but you won't fit but it would be good to fit that is that oh no you ain't gonna fit what about that's a shame be nice to just fit another little house in could fit one there Oh, we could fit you. You definitely could fit, surely. No, you're tiny as well. Okay. I mean, I don't really want to break away from the style of houses we've built down here, but it would be nice just to fit something else in. Just more housing, any housing. Any housing will do right now. Could I fit a house here? And if so, is that right? Where's the uh, clone tool? I want to build you? Yes, I just I just wanted to copy it. Okay, I can build another. And I know I'm falling into the same traps again here by just building housing that we don't need. No, we do need it. That's the problem. It's building mass housing that then. Um, the population will move away from their core jobs and start building, but we've got to do it. We're going to set the construction firm on, and hopefully one day we will build another house. Just expanding where we can. Expanding where we can. This looks good, though. We, we look like we're finally doing something down here. 
And like, just look at all the people running backwards and forwards. Winter is going to be here soon. We might as well wait for the, the snows to hit before we finish this little episode off. It's more of an update rather than um than anything else. Let me know your thoughts, Central Committee. The worries for the Central Committee then. What do we do about the grain incident? Do we... Because look, that is going to run out. It's going to run out soon. What do we do about grain? Do we import grain? Do we not worry about it because food's not going anywhere just yet? I mean, it will do. Do we... I mean, this is going to run out. We could, we could purchase grain right here. And sure, we're, we're making money at the moment, so we could do that. That's, let me pause. That seems to make to me more sense than spending the money to build a silo down here than to have the grain train run backwards and forwards. Like, seriously, like, how much is it going to cost me to... Uh, it's going to cost a lot, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to cost a lot. Let's, let's not do that for now. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This is going to run out. This is going to run out. How do we... Because we need to produce food. And, and let's be frank here for a moment. Crops. Importing crops is... Expensive. But not as expensive as buying food. Right? So, no, that actually, no. Do you know what? That makes more sense to me. We're going to purchase some 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 crops. That's what we're going to do. We're going to purchase crops. It's going to cost us a lot. If, you, if this idea, if Central Committee, if you don't like this idea, which is fine, uh, let me know and we will change the idea. If you can think of a better idea, then I am welcoming it. If you can think of a better idea of how to speed things up as well, then, and again, that'd be welcome. Oh, yeah, maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe this was a bad idea. Yeah, we're spending a lot. I know it's going to... I don't know. I don't know what the best idea is economically anymore, Central Committee. I put it to you, members of the Workers' Party of Fjordland. What do we do in this economic situation? Winter is coming. And we need to survive the winter months. We need to produce our own food. Money's actually not seeming to be a problem. But the problems that will hit us are... Um, the housing issue. We have more people escaping across our borders every month. We now have a, a large proportion of our population still living with their parents. And whilst that doesn't seem like an issue, it's a good problem to have. We need to provide them with housing. Happiness has gradually gone down. Not much, but it's going down, and that's the slippery slope to capitalism that we cannot allow ourselves to descend into. So, how do we... Oh, 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 well, this is good. This looks good. Let's let's finish on a, on a positive, and we'll, we'll watch the build, the finishing of this house. Let me come down to this level. Let's go into cinematics. What do we do? Do we... Um, oh, that's quite a nice little picture, isn't it? Let's, i tell you what I'm going to do. Get into a nice position here. Print screen that for, for the cover work of the, <laughs> of the episode. But what do we do? How do we solve the housing crisis without taking away key workers? How do we get the oil refinery up and running as soon as possible? And how do we provide workers there? What do we do with the food situation? We do not want a crop shortage, but equally we do not want to be a burden upon our allies in the Soviet Union in importing crops. What do we do for the next five-year plan? It may be some while, a while away, but what do you want to do? What's the next target? A realistic target for a nation so young and infant. Ten years. It's not going to... It's a while away, but what do we build? What do we celebrate the ten-year anniversary of our republic with? And what do you want to do for it? Do you want to go on a tour of the nations that will have built by that point? Any other suggestions are so welcome in the comments. As I say, if you dislike what we're doing, please leave a dislike. If you like what we're doing, please leave a like. Tell me so, because I'm enjoying this. But if you're 
if there's anything in particular you're liking, then uh, it's great, great to hear that. Um, and again, if you dislike it, whatever, like, tell me. I'll try and fix it. Yeah, this episode has been interesting, if not short and frustrating. But we're getting there. Stay safe out in the world, please. I, I wanted this building to finish. Come on, you, you silly thing. How close are you? I'm wrapping the episode up here, guys, and you've got, like, more to do. We need boards. There we go, look. Oh, we're building. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. There it is. It's done. It's done. Who are these people who've moved in? I didn't want people to move in. Go away. Who are you all? Who are you? We want to take some under 21s, loads of you, and we want to move them. Relocate. One, two, three. Look. There. We're relocating people. We want... If this, if this house is going to be useful, we want... How many more of you? Is there more of you? That there's loads of you still living with parents. Let's let's relocate a lot of you people. Right. Well, that building's now full. We filled this building with young people straight away. It's fine. This is what we need to do, though. Uh, like that was just a snippet, a snippet of people that we've moved out of their parents. There's a lot to consider here, Central Committee. I hope that you consider that when you're watching this video and we come up with some suitable <laughs> some suitable socialist solutions I will see you in the next one where hopefully I will be not anywhere near as tired as I am right now see you next time <laughs>